Hey guys, Alberto speaking, and welcome to another Moonbeam tutorial. In today's video, we will use a Solidity compiler and the Web3 library to compile and deploy a smart contract in Moonbeam using JavaScript. Like in our last tutorial, we will code these things together. We have divided this into two videos. In this one, we will write a contract with Solidity and the compilation script. In the next one, we will deploy to Moonbeam and interact with the contract. Make sure you have watched our tutorial on setting up a local node. And with that, let's get started. With our local Moonbeam node running, let's head into a new terminal tab and create a folder to store the files. In here, let's run npm init dash dash yes to create our package.json file. Let's install the Web3 library by running npm installed dash dash save web3. Next, let's install the Solidity compiler and for this tutorial we're going to use version 0.6.10. Before we go to coding, I put together a little diagram to show you the file structure for this tutorial. Don't worry, as we'll go one by one. Today, we'll write up the incrementary.sol contract file in the compile.js script, which using the Solidity compiler will create the bytecode and the ABI of our contract. As you can see, those are the two files we have open in our editor. First, start with the pragma line to tell our compiler to use versions 0.6. Next, create an instance of the contract and let's define the variables. The only one we're going to use is a uint, let's make it public and name it number. Let's try the constructor function and we're going to pass in a uint to give an initial value to our number. This function is run the first time the contract is created. Now let's try our increment function. This is going to increase the value of our number by the amount we pass in. We have to set it as public so it can be externally called. And lastly, let's write our reset function. This is going to reset the value of our number to zero. And that's pretty much it. We have a very simple incrementary contract for this example. Now let's move to the compile.js file. First, we have to import a few modules, starting with path and file system, which are included and pre-installed with node. And lastly, we have to load the Solidity compiler. Next, let's load our contract. For that, we need the contracts path that we can get using the path resolve method, providing the absolute path of the current file and the contract's name. Then, pass in this variable to the read file sync method of the file system module also defining the encoding as UTF-8. Now we need to define the input that we're going to provide to the Solidity compiler. First, let's set the language to Solidity. Then we have to define the sources, which in our case is only one contract, and that is the incrementer.sol file. In here, we have to set the content to be the source that we defined before. Then in settings, I'm going to copy and paste this output selection line so that the compiler provides all the outputs that it can possibly generate. And finally, let's JSON parse the output of our Solidity compiler. This needs the JSON string of the JavaScript input object. I know it might be complicated to follow, but that's how it is. From the output of the compiler, we need to fetch the compiled incrementer contract located inside contracts incrementer.sol. Let's export this variable to be able to use it in our deploy.js script. And we have finished our compile.js file. And this is it for the first part. Check out the next video to see how we write the deploy script 
and interact with our contract. As always, feel free to join our Element Room, contact us in Telegram, and visit our website, moomeme.network. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you the next time. Thank you.